Hey y'all, Dan with Southern Paddler Channel here. Today I'm on the Elk River. I'm doing the Elk River Canoe Rental Trip. I'm doing their nine mile trip, which is, I think it's uh, Old Down Ford, maybe, uh, back to their outpost. You know, I got to thinking about it. I've been on Elk River several times, different outfitters, and I've been here at Elk River Canoe Rental a couple times before, but I think it was back before I started making videos. I don't think I actually have a video uh, from Elk River Canoe Rental, so, uh, and I had forgotten that they had this nine mile trip, which of course, you know, I love the longer trips anyway, and I say longer, anything more than five. They do have a five mile trip. They have several options, actually. That's one of the great things about Elk River Canoe Rental is they have several different options. So you can pick out, you know, what kind of route you want to do, if you want to end up there, if you want to start there at the outpost and how many miles you want to go. So yeah, a lot of great options there. So uh, yeah, I'm going to. I'm just starting off here, taking off. It's about uh, 9:45, and they open up at nine. So I'm going to get started here on this trip and kind of ease down this Elk River, and uh, hopefully we'll have some uh, good scenery to show y'all. All right, let's go. You know, I am doing a little something special for this trip. Uh, it's just a day trip, but uh, I actually brought uh, a mountain house meal and some coffee. So I'm gonna find me a gravel bar, hopefully in the shade. If I can't, no, I'll deal with it, but find me a gravel bar and set up my chair and table and uh, make me some biscuits and gravy and a cup of coffee and just kind of enjoy the morning on the river here. So uh, I'm gonna be looking for me a spot to do that here pretty soon. all right well got here got my table chair set up started uh, getting ready to make my first cup of coffee realized i didn't have a spoon um you know stirring a coffee i could probably figure that out but uh my breakfast my gravy and biscuits uh, i'm not sure how that's going to work Found me a stick and uh, got my knife here and uh, kind of carved, uh, kind of 
shaved off the outer layer so all the whatever microorganisms might have been living on living on the outside of that uh, bark they're gone however uh, i'm probably going to consume some wood shavings today so maybe that'll count as my fiber so yeah. uh, i got my mountain house uh, hydrating which reminds me i need to check the time it is 10 26 so it's been in there a couple minutes it's gonna have to sit for about five minutes stir it another four or five so i'm just going to enjoy this cup of coffee make me one more and uh yeah i hate i forgot my spoon it's always something but it'll be interesting i made it a little more watery than probably normal because i'm gonna have to probably just drink it out of that bag so we'll see how that goes uh i don't know if i get it all in my beard i may have to jump in the water and rinse off yeah. we'll see all right Okay, I'm in the last probably two miles. Just went under Shallow Bridge, which is the only bridge you go under. 
um, which tells me this is the kind of trip that I love and I'll do again because, uh, man, you're talking about remote, quiet. There's been a few people on it, but not many at all. Man, what a beautiful trip. Now, I'll tell you this, there's a lot of flat water, so you gotta be ready to paddle, but it is beautiful, so peaceful, so quiet. I mean, it's, it's exactly what I was looking for today. And so it's just, I'm glad I finally did this trip. Like I said, I've been to Elk River Canoe several times, but probably just did their five mile trip. But this is the first time I've done the nine mile. Love it. I'll definitely do it again. Um, matter of fact, cool thing happened. So at about two, two and a half miles before you get to the end, you, the, the one bridge I just mentioned, that shallow bridge, only bridge you go under. Um, I've had like maybe one bar, but not enough to really post anything, whatever, which is good. Again, that's, that's another great thing. But, uh, you know, I've done about seven miles, got under that bridge. I sit in the shade, taking a break. We're doing this last two miles and I uh, had two bars. So I thought, well, I'll try to post a picture on Instagram. So I did and I tagged up River Canoe. And then a cool thing happened. So a few minutes after that, the owner, Ben, uh, messaged me. He said, hey, you know, I appreciate your, you know, post and everything. And told me that, you know, normally he'd be working today, but uh, he's kind of had some medical stuff that's kept him down. So, uh, anyway but we messaged back and forth a little bit he said this was his favorite trip and trust me i can see why so uh anyway ben great to hear from you hope you get to feeling better soon brother uh thanks for the message and uh and yeah this this nine mile trip is just it's fantastic i mean you don't see hardly anybody or anything there's that one bridge you just there's no road noise or anything that is my kind of trip let me tell you i have absolutely loved it matter of fact i thought as i'm going down here of course it's been pretty warm not and i'll say another thing there's some shade on the side but there's not a lot you know the river's wide enough to where there's not a lot of shade right in the middle so it's uh you know just be prepared for that if you go in august like i'm doing but man it's like i don't know what i don't know when they uh, close up but if you could do this trip in the fall oh, that would be fantastic so ben i may be hitting you up about that one <laughs> anyway well uh, like i said i'm going to sign off here i'm probably just less than two miles from the from the outpost from my takeout and uh and so i'm going to just kind of enjoy this last little bit and try not to get in too big a hurry but because it, it's a beautiful day and uh and just love being on this river so Anyway, y'all get a chance, check out Elk River Canoe. Like I said, they have several different trip options. Uh, I think nine, seven, five, whatever, you know, but uh, they got a website, they're on Facebook. Check them out, give them a call like I did. I called them yesterday and, and kind of make sure to, you know, have my reservation and everything. So uh, great folks, you'll love uh, this trip. And uh, anyway, give them a look and uh, I'm gonna finish out this trip and uh, enjoy what's left of my Saturday afternoon. All right, we'll see y'all on the next one. Let's go, y'all.